This company has something very interesting to offer. Revenue growth is absolutely beautiful at 23.6%. There is also one extra company that hit its 52-week low in March, and it is Hello friends, let's take a look at five interesting stocks that recently got to 52-week low. Of course, it is important to remember that if a stock price is at its lowest point in a year, it does not mean that it is cheap. It does not mean it is a great opportunity. It just means that it is cheaper than it was before. But we have to always do our own due diligence. We have to understand the company and the industry before we decide to invest in any business. We don't want to be speculating. We don't want to be trading. We want to be investing. We want to own a part of a business. So please use this list only as a starting point, an inspiration of where we can look for opportunities. Okay, so let's start with Information Services Group, ticker symbol III. It's a bit self-centered, but I'm not judging. Information Services Group operates as a technology research and advisory company. It offers services that help with automation, cloud computing, data analytics, and much, much more. And it is a rather small company with a market cap of just $192 million. Last month, the price went down by 4.3% and got to a 52-week low of $3.96. Okay, so let's take a quick look at this company. Return on invested capital, that is an X at 4% and we want to see it over 10%. Revenue growth, that is also an X at 4%. So it is growing, but not very fast. And if we take into consideration that it is a small company, then well, it does not look too good. And the debt? It is a massive X. It would take over nine years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. And we like to see it under two years. And what about the dividends? It is a check. The dividend yield is 4.4%. So a nice dividend. But what is worrying is that this company is not huge and it's not growing. And instead of investing money into the company and trying to make it grow, the management decided to pay dividends. Well, uh, probably not the best long-term strategy. Okay, so let's take a look at another company that was close to its 52-week low in March. PCE Incorporated is a communication company that provides internet and television services in Canada. It has a market cap of over $32 billion, so an impressive operation. Last month, its stock went down by 3.6% and hit its low at $33.95. Okay, so let's take a look at return on invested capital. It is an X at 6.5%. So not bad, but not good either. Revenue growth, that is an X at 1.9%. But maybe considering its size, it's not that surprising. And if we look at the debt, it is another company with a huge problem. It would take over nine years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. But because the price is so low, this company has something very interesting to offer. It has a dividend yield of 6.3%. That is a very nice dividend. So far, those companies seem to go down in price mainly because they have huge debts. But if you would like to find a really cheap company and at the same time make sure that they have strong financial health, 
then head over to our Patreon page and get access to the Stock Ranking or Stock Ranking Pro. Thanks to it, you have all the analysis I have ever made in front of you, prepared in an easy and user-friendly way. You can in a matter of seconds understand what is the strong side of the company and what is its weakness. Forward Air Corporation operates as an asset light freight and logistics company in the United States and Canada. They provide local pickup and delivery services, shipment consolidation and warehousing among other logistics services. It has a market cap of over $900 million. Last month the price went down by 27% and got to a 52-week low of $28.46. And this company has some impressive results. Return on invested capital, that is a check at 13.2%. So that is a decent return. And revenue growth, that is an X at 7.7%. But since we are looking for growth over 10%, then it's not that far off. And how is the debt looking? It is an X. It would take over 12 years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. So they have a huge debt. And the dividend yield? That is a check at 2.5%. So nothing crazy, but a decent dividend. If it wasn't for the debt, it could be an interesting company to look at. Concentrix Corporation provides customer experience process optimization, technology innovation, front and back office automation, analytics and business transformation services. In the last month, its stock went down by 20.3% and it has a market cap of $4.2 billion. Return on invested capital, that is an X at 4.5% and we like to see it over 10%. But revenue growth is absolutely beautiful at 23.6% annually since 2017. And if we look at the debt, it is the same story as with other companies we looked at today. It would take almost 10 years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. And the dividend yield that is a check at 1.8%. So a small dividend on top of an impressive growth. And the last company we are going to look at today is Solo Brands. It operates a direct-to-consumer platform that offers outdoor and lifestyle branded products in the United States. The company provides camp stoves, fire pits, kayaks, paddle boards and other accessories. This company has a market cap of $220 million. Its stock went down by 13% in March and its 52-week low is at $2.17. This company was created in 2011 and it had its IPO 10 years later. Return on invested capital, that is an X at 3.7%, so nothing impressive. But revenue growth is a massive check at 135% in three years since the IPO. So of course we have to take into account that it is a new company and its growth may slow down rapidly, but so far, so good. And if we look at the debt, it is a check. It would take less than two years to pay the long-term debt with a current free cash flow. So that is very nice indeed. And this company does not pay any dividends. And considering that it is a new company and it is growing very fast, it is actually a wise thing to do. So uh, something to look into. There is also one extra company that hit its 52-week low in March and it is Malibu Boats. And I recently made a whole video about this company and its position in our stock ranking. So if you want to learn more, just click uh, over here. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.